IRC is back again with another exciting themes and challenges. I can already feel your excitement to showcase your skills to the world. But I also know how frustrating it becomes when your programmable robot deviates during the arena run. But don't worry. In this video, I am going to tell you some tips and tricks which can improve the functionality of your line follower robot. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. What is a line follower robot? A line follower robot is a smart machine designed to follow a track printed on a surface. The robot will perform various actions while following this track. How to make a line follower robot? The construction of line follower robot is simple. We need to create a 3 wheel robot. If you notice, I have attached the motors and the wheels in the center of the robot. Motor position is an important part of robot design. This will help you in accurate motion for a line follower robot. Next, we need two sensors to detect the line. You can use IR sensors or color sensors based on the line track. If it is a black line track, you can use IR sensors. While for any other color, you need to use the color sensors. How to program a line follower robot? To program the line follower robot, we need to first understand the values we are getting from our sensors. IR sensors return a value of 1023 on white and 0 on black, while color sensors return a character W on white and X on black. We can check this by printing the sensor values on the screen using this piece of code. After checking the sensors, it's time to write down the conditional statements for our line follower robot. There are four simple conditions. Both sensors on white color. In this condition, the robot is facing straight and both the sensors are on white color. So both the sensors will return a value of 1023, which is not equal to 0. When the robot is in this condition, we will program the robot to move in forward direction. Here is the code. Left sensor on black. In this condition, the robot is tilted to the right side. The left sensor is on black color and the right sensor is on white color. Hence, the left sensor will return a 0 and right sensor will return a value not equal to 0. The robot will be programmed to turn left in this case until the condition is changed. Here is the code. Right sensor on black color. This condition is very similar to the last condition, but just opposite to it. Here, the right sensor is on black and the left sensor is on white. Hence, the left sensor will return a value not equal to 0 and right sensor will return a value equal to 0. The robot will be programmed to turn right in this case until the condition is changed. Here is the code. Both sensors on black color. The robot is now facing straight and both the sensors are on black color intersection. This is the most important condition for a line follower robot. And in most cases, the line follower robot deviates after reaching this condition only. Let's understand this in detail. In any line follower arena, there are several intersections. And on each intersection, the robot is required to perform various actions. Let's start by counting the intersection on our arena. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. We have total 6 intersection and the robot will perform these tasks on each intersection. For this, we will use a variable named count. Initially, we will set its value to 0. And we will increment this count by 1 each time both the sensors detect black color. That being done, now we will add different condition based on the different values of count. If count is equal to 1. In this condition, the robot needs to rotate 90 degrees in right direction. Here, we will not be using a time delay to rotate our robot. Because time based turns often leads to deviations. Instead, we will use sensor based logic for our turn. The logic is very simple. Turn the robot until the right sensor detects white. We can use a repeat while loop for this. We will also need to redefine the variables to read the sensor values. Now this loop should turn the robot while the right sensor is on black. 
as soon as the sensor reaches white color, the turning will stop. Let's test this code. It didn't work right. And that's because how we are turning the robot. There are two types of turning. Full turn. In this type, both the wheels rotate in opposite directions, making the robot turn from its center. Hence, the robot turning radius will be less. Curved turn. In this method, we stop one wheel and keep on rotating the other, allowing the robot a bigger turning radius. Because the pivot point or the axis of rotation will get changed from center to its side. And as you can see, the robot is now taking perfect 90 degrees turn. So we will use the curve turn method in our code. If count is equal to 2. In this condition, the robot needs to rotate exactly 180 degrees. We will use two loops for this. Repeat while the right sensor is on black. Here, we do not want a bigger turning radius. So we will use full turn logic. This loop will turn the robot halfway. Now, when the sensor is on white, we will use another loop which will further rotate the robot while the sensor is on white. This loop will now rotate the robot further in right direction until the right sensor detects black color. If count is equal to 3. This next intersection is very similar to the first intersection. We will have to rotate our robot 90 degrees in right direction. So, we will not create a newer condition. Instead, we will modify our first condition. Now, if count is equal to 1 or count is equal to 3, the robot will take a 90 degree turn. Similarly, for count is equal to 2 or count is equal to 4, the robot will rotate 180 degree if count is equal to 5. This intersection requires a time based action. So, here we can use a time delay to stop the robot along with the loop to move forward until the sensor detects white. So this robot will move forward until the sensor detects white. And lastly, we can finally stop our robot to complete the arena on count is equal to 6. I hope this video will help you to improve your programming skills and help you to score better in this year's IRC.